Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to look at an inverter with the case off. So, as you know, inverters convert direct current to alternating current. So, we have our input down here. We have our mains input, our U1, our V1, and our W1, our three phases. And then we have our power coming out, our W, our U2, our V2, and our W2. So on the left, this comes down to here, and then we have our isolator for the chilled water pump. Comes back up to the inverter, so here, and then this is our power out, our output, and this goes over to this pump motor over here, and it's on a belt. We have a cooling fan on top. Let's go into the settings. So before you, you currently it's on auto, but you can stop it. You can have it on hand, and you can increase or decrease the speed. Going into menus. Menu number one, set it so you can go through and look at the parameters. Assistance. Change perimeters. Fort logger. Time and date. Parameter backup. Okay. Shows you how many how much amp that the pump is drawing, percentage of its output. You have some other connections here. Look, at, look in the manual and you'll see more about that. In the manual as well, the manufacturer explains how to test the unit. You can, if you want to find out what the problem is, like if a fan, if a fan or whatever the inverter is supplying, a unit to see if it's got a problem you can by safe isolation turn the power off disconnect the leads because sometimes I've come across these tripping miniature circuit breakers so you turn the power off check for safe isolation and then remove the three phases put them in like a way go safety like safety terminal and then turn the power on and see if it's tripping the MCB when the power is just going into the inverter but not out to the, to the unit. But the problem could be with an inverter, like an outdoor inverter where water has got into it for its casing, and then you turn the power off, safe isolation, put the free incoming supplies into a Wago clip and then see if the unit is still 
trip in when it's disconnected from the inverter put the inverter back in and so you can see if the inverter is the problem by disconnecting uh, the output or putting it back in from the pump motor and so on or seeing if the problem doesn't lie with the inverter or the pump but something else is tripping the MCB but a good way is by route of elimination in many ways to check if fans pumps or any device is tripping a miniature circuit breaker or um, a boiler if it's blowing a fuse in a boiler by route of elimination by removing certain um, components and then checking that way. I hope this video has helped you. Please leave your comments in the section below. Until next time, bye bye bye.